This is the December 2nd edition of Tanks Vlog. Wrapping up the day in sports. It was all about the conference championship games in college football as teams look to make their case for the college football national championship with Selection Sunday coming up. Today is the day that we're going to find out where everyone's going in their bowl games and who is going to the uh, to two semifinal playoff games. Uh, what you had is basically a bunch of teams are up for it, and Alabama on the sideline after last week's loss to Auburn, hoping that one of the top four would lose so they could slip in. In the ACC championship game, it was all Clemson as they pummeled Miami. Have you, uh, just a couple weeks ago, people were talking about the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes are back. Miami's back. Well, after a loss to Pittsburgh and just getting throttled by the Tigers. I have news for you. You ain't back. 38-3 final. Clemson, the defending national champions, who are now ranked number one, are in. Number three, Oklahoma, in the Big 12 championship game. They had no problem beating TCU, scoring 17 points in the first quarter and 17 points in the third quarter to beat the uh, Horn Frogs 41-17. Baker Mayfield had four touchdown passes with four, 243 yards. It's going to be interesting next week when the Heisman Trophy is announced. Uh, Baker Mayfield, he's made his case. So look for Oklahoma to be in. Now, here's where things get interesting. The SEC Championship game, Georgia came in ranked number six, behind number five, Alabama, and Auburn was ranked number two, having knocked Georgia and Alabama from number one out of uh, the playoff picture. But this time, it was Georgia all over Auburn. DeAndre Swift had a big run to break the game open. And the Bulldogs win the SEC championship game. Now, you know there's going to be at least one SEC champion team in there. So, there's no doubt that Georgia, even though their number six, is going to leapfrog Alabama and get in the championship, get, get into the Final Four pitcher. Auburn is out. Now, here's where things get interesting. Ohio State beat number four, Wisconsin, 27-21. Ohio State was only ranked number 8. Miami was number 7, so Miami's out of the way. Auburn's out of the way. So the last spot's going to come between Ohio State and Auburn, and Alabama. Now, last year, Ohio State did not win their conference championship game, but they were chosen over Penn State because the committee said the Buckeyes are better. Ohio State was 11-2 this year. Alabama was 11 and 1. I think we're going to get a reversal. I think this time Alabama gets in, the Buckeyes get the buck out, and we're going to have more controversy. You know, eventually I think we're going to have to have an 8 playoff. This way all the Power 5 conference champions get in, and then you'll have three wild card spots. One could be from like a non-power conference. And I tell you, a team that deserves to get consideration is Central Florida. Central Florida is only ranked number 14. They're the only unbeaten team in uh, FBS. 12-0 beat Memphis in an overtime thriller today. 62-55. Scott Frost now, he's he's going to Nebraska. So, you know, they're going to... It's going to be... Difficult to see them winning a bowl game. They're going to get a good bowl game. They're going to get a New Year's Six bowl game. But shouldn't Central Florida be in an 18 playoff? You know, this is all these bowl games are ridiculous. Come on. Does anyone really care about the Belk Bowl? Does anyone really... Uh, the Belk Bowl. The, 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 the Bacardi Bowl. The St. Petersburg Bowl. I ha I'll have more on these bowls later. Wait till December. Wait till wait till you hear my my feelings in the bowls. So you have the five power conference champions, which would be this year, 
uh, Auburn, I mean, Alabama, Clemson, Oklahoma, Georgia, Ohio State, and USC. Plus, you put a wild, you did three wild cards. So, you have UCF would get in, Alabama would get in, and you'd have one more team in there. And uh, that's anyone's guess who that would be at this moment. But that would, I think would be a f more fair way to do this. But anyway, it's going to be interesting to see where everything shapes up and ships out. But this is where college football now meets the road. NHL tonight, Devils played their worst game of the season. Getting blanked by the Arizona Coyotes, five nothing on a set, playing in the second game of a back to back. They were flat early. They were flat late, and except for maybe the second period, showed no spirit. These are games that the Devils have to avoid. It's, the Coyotes are a terrible team, and they just came out. The Devils played a terrible game. Uh, Bruins blank the Flyers three to nothing. Wild over the Blues two to one. <sighs> the Montreal Canadian. They uh, their surge continues since the return of Carey Price, and tonight they destroyed the Detroit Red Wings ten to one. It was uh, the Lightning striking down the Sharks five to two. The Penguins over the pathetic Sabres five to one. The Capitals over the Blue Jackets four to three. The Canucks beat the Maple Leafs two to one. The Kings over the Panthers in overtime. The Predators also needed overtime to beat the Ducks, while the Stars beat the Blackhawks in a shootout. In the Battle of Alberta, it was the Oilers with a seven to five win over the Flames. NBA Hawks beat the listless Nets in Brooklyn 114-102. Celtics reached 20 wins with a 116-111 win over the Suns. Mavericks 108-82 over the Clippers. Cavaliers handed an 11 straight loss to the Gri Cavaliers won their 11 straight game and the Grizzlies lost their 11th straight game. 116-111 win in Cleveland. It was the 76ers with a 108-103 win over the Pistons. The Bucks beat the Kings 109-104. The Nuggets edged the uh, Lakers 115-100. And the Pelicans got a big game by DeMarcus Cousins to beat the the Trailblazers 123-116. Today's three stars are Mackenzie Milton of Central Florida, Baker Mayfield of Oklahoma, Tuka Rask, who got the shutout win for the Bruins. Birthday shutout today goes to Katarina Witt, the uh, former gold medal winning figure skater from Germany. And we take a look back 30 years ago when Ray Bork gave up number 7 on the ice in dramatic fashion so the Bruins could retire number 7 for Phil Esposito. And ironically, Bork will take number 77 and have his own number retired one day by the Bruins. It's Sunday, so let's take a quick look at what's going to happen. I like the Falcons to end the Vikings winning streak. The Falcons look like they're about ready to take off. Games in Atlanta, I like the Falcons. I like the Lions to go into Baltimore, get the upset win. Uh, Ravens have not been impressive. Joe Flacco is not having a good year. Matthew Stafford has been solid. I like the uh, Patriots to continue their domination over the Buffalo Bills. Look for that game to be a blowout. I like the uh, Bears in a defensive battle to beat the uh, 49ers. The uh, Spoiling Jimmy Garoppolo's first start. I like the Buccaneers to go in Lambeau with uh, Jameis Winston returning to the lineup. 
I like the Jaguars to roll all over the Colts. I like the, the uh, Dolphins over the Broncos in a battle of pathetic, putrid, horrendous, pathetic, putrid, terrible, crummy, horrible, awful quarterbacks. I think the Jets will uh, shoot down the uh, Chiefs. Uh, Alex Smith, I think this might be his last start. They got to have to make a switch. That offense is terrible. It's unwatchable. It's horrible. It's hideous. It's horrendous. Uh, I like the Titans to beat the Texans. I like the uh, Chargers to keep the Browns losing streak continuing. Rams to go in the desert and get a win. I like the Saints in a uh, nice tight battle for first place in the AFC South. I see the Raiders... Pummeling Geno Smith and the Giants. Giants. <laughs> Might as well start calling them Lily Putians because they ain't no Giants. I like the Eagles in the Sunday night game in Seattle. I think the Eagles will continue to run. Uh, this will wrap up the NFC East. And on the Monday night game, Steelers go into Cincinnati get a win. Steelers always play, uh, bring out their best when they play the Cincinnati Bengals. And the Bengals always crumble under their horrible, terrible... Pathetic, undisciplined play. So, there's the wrap up for a day in sports. What's coming up? What's in the past? Go visit sportsycyclopedia.com and, of course, Barstool Sports. But sportsycyclopedia.com, that's where sports history lives. How could you not want to go see that? Good day.